Hey everyone, it's the Mass Sorcerer here. In this video, I want to talk about uh, one thing that I still struggle with all the time. Not, not just in math, but in everything. And I think some people are really good at this thing. Uh, I have always had an issue with it. So maybe, because I've had a problem with it, maybe, maybe you've had a problem with this. And it's prioritizing your time. This is extremely important in mathematics. Like, I cannot even emphasize how important it is. Like, me saying it's important does not, like, portray how important it actually is. Uh, when I first went to grad school, I had an advisor, really brilliant guy. Uh, he was from Argentina. Uh, and his advisor was uh, Calderon, by the way, if you know who that is. So, kind of cool, right? Like, my advisor had an advisor who was famous. It's kind of like, maybe I'm, like, just, just semi-famous by association. I don't know. Anyways. So I went to my to my advisor, and uh, I asked him for like any advice, you know, any any tips he could give me. And he, you know, he looked at me. He's like, "Oh, you know, it's important that you prioritize your time. You know, you, you know, don't spend too much time on one problem. You know, you you can't afford to do that." And I was like, "Okay, yeah, right, smart. I need to to prioritize my time. You know, I can't spend too much time on a problem, right? Because he knew that I had to, you know, focus on my classes." and also to uh, study for the qualifying exams. My first year in grad school, um, I had a fellowship, so I was really, really lucky, right? I didn't, I didn't have any duties, just you know, free money, focus on my classes. So he told me to prioritize my time, right? And I agreed with what he said, and I walked away. And looking back, you know, I realized that he was so, so right. I mean, it is so important to prioritize your time when you're studying math. You cannot spend hours working on one problem, right? You may like to do that, you know, right? Because it's hard to give up, right? We all have a hard time with quitting because we're taught as human beings, you know, it's, it's our instinct to fight and not give up, right? The will to, to live, the will to succeed, uh, the will not to give up is, is part of us. So when we're working on a math problem, it's hard to walk away sometimes, but it is important to be able to do that because you have to prioritize your time, right? If you're taking if you're taking five or six classes and three of them are math classes and you're working 10 hours a week and you're volunteering two hours a week and you're involved in some club and, and, and maybe you have a kid or maybe you're married, maybe you have a family, right? If you have a lot going on, you have to prioritize your time, right? You, you just have to do it. Right for your for your mental health, for your physical health, and for your success. I'll give you a concrete example. Uh, I was taking uh, a class. It was uh, a first year, yeah, first year algebra class. Okay, I forgot what it was called, but it was it was an abstract algebra class, year one, first semester. Great professor, right? The guy guy passed away a few years ago, and um, he gave us his homework assignment, and it was on Galois theory, and there was a problem in there that that I couldn't figure out. So. I had a desk in my apartment where I went to grad school, and it was just a living room and a desk. It was really like, really, really like, yeah, very minimalist, like just nothingness, just really, really cool. And a lamp, like facing down on, on the desk. And I would wake up at three in the morning, like to go to the bathroom and say, hey, this problem, you know, I, I don't know how to do it. So I'd go to the, that living room, I'd sit at that desk. This is the desk I'm sitting on now. I'm sitting on that desk. Oh, I'm using that desk, and I would try to do the problem, right? I would wake up in the middle of the night and work on the problem, right? And I did this for a week. Uh, I probably woke up maybe three or four times that week in the middle of the night just to work on that problem. I worked on that problem in the day. I worked on that problem in the night. I probably spent 30 hours, I'm not exaggerating, working on that one problem. And then the following week I went to class, and the teacher says, oh, Oh, I am sorry, but I forgot to mention the field was finite. I'm like, ah, oh, well, duh, if the field was finite, I know how to do the problem, right? So there was a typo in the problem. And I will never forget because I spent such an incredible amount of effort on that one problem, you know. And I was just kicking myself like, God, you know, I put aside my analysis class. You know, I put aside all my other stuff that I was working on. Um, to focus on this one Galois theory problem. But if I would have prioritized my time, it wouldn't have happened. So prioritize your time, right? It's really, really important to prioritize. 
And no matter how many times I say it, and no matter how many times you watch this video, if you're, if you're, if you're even watching this, if you made it this far, awesome. Just try to like, really, really take it to heart, right? Prioritize your time, not, not just in math, but in everything, right? Being efficient uh, is, is extremely, extremely important. Good luck.